Uh, welcome back to our LLM Ops video series. This is episode three of the series. And in, th in this episode, we'll continue to look at the middle loop, which is building and augmenting. And you learn how to use open source frameworks like Langchain and Semantic Kernel to orchestrate flows in Promflow. You will also see the code first experience with CLI and SDK, as well as VS Code extension uh, to develop flows in your favorite editor. So in our last episode, we talked about how to build LLM flows and implement RAG using Promflow. In this episode, we'll look into how you how your developers can take advantage of code first experiences in Promflow. So we use a folder structure to organize prompt flows, ensuring meticulous version controlling of prompts and LLM flows. Uh, Plumflow SDK CLI also facilitates a seamless transition between local development and cloud de deployment, enhancing efficiency and control. Integration with open source frameworks like Langchain and Semantic Kernel empowers you with the flexibility, while CI/CD pipeline um, automates the ex execution and evaluation of your flows. With the VS Code extension, local development is a breeze, offering a tools for editing, connection management, and run history. Now let's take a look at this uh, code-first experience in action. Uh, Vishnu, uh, uh, the floor is yours. In the previous demo, we have uh, shown you how to start with the playground and uh, customize the, the Q&A environment into the prompt flow using customized prompt flow. So in this example, we will show you how to create a, a standard flow by using uh, the flows section and, and create button. You will see various types of prompt flows available to you. There is a standard flow, which has the option to build the individual blocks within the prompt flow, orchestrate them. And there is a chart flow, which is which has the chart history, which you can use to build the context around the prompts so that the model knows how best to form the queries uh, to extract the information from the, the vector embeddings. So there is also evaluation flow, which you can create to evaluate the uh, uh, prompt flows. And in order to accelerate what you develop and how you, uh, how you develop, uh, Azure AI Studio gives you uh, some pre-built gallery examples, so we can choose them as well. So for this purpose of demo, uh, deploying how to integrate the open source libraries like Langchain. I use the standard flow I just created with the click um, create button and uh, you'll see something like this. And I'll show you what I built to demonstrate the Langchain, uh, integrating the Langchain library. And uh, so what I did was I simply, once the flow came in, it had the input and I have one variable that takes the string like no, uh, some some something I say, which is let's say Statue of Liberty is in New York, and what this flow does is it does a fact checker using the Langchain uh, library. So if I scroll down, the first question will be the the question will be sent to the uh, Chat GPT model Turbo model, and. Uh, that information is passed to the fact checker, which uses, uh, if I make it a little bigger, which uses Langchain a library to fact check it. Is it the real answer, uh, correct answer uh, that came from the LLM model? So it's a very basic model. And uh, if I run this, it will give me exactly, it will take that question and, uh, uh, and it will give me the output validating the information, uh, if the information is correct or not. So my question was Statue of uh, Liberty is in New York and the chat GPT model gave me this output, which is, which is here. And you will see it says, yes, Statue of Liberty is located in, uh, in uh, Liberty Island in New York. And this information will be passed to Langchain library, which will use to make any corrections to that output and give give a valid output. So this is the output that came from the Langchain library. You see there, it, it says errors corrected and it gives me more information to validate the information uh, that was given by the, the large language model. So this is how you uh, uh, integrate Langchain into your prompt flows. The next, I will show you how to integrate 
semantic kernel into the prompt flow. So for that, I will demonstrate the, the, the code first experience using the VS code. So in order to use the prompt flow within the US code, uh, VS code, we will have to uh, install a, 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 a Python extension, uh, sorry, prompt flow extension. You would go to the, the extension section here and you can search for prompt flow and you will see, you will see the uh, prompt flow uh, extension. You can install it. And once you have it and you can, uh, you can see it uh, here and you can, you can start the, uh, create a new flow from here. That's one, a, one way of starting with the prompt flow, prompt flow within the, you know, VS code, or you can also download the prompt flow from the AI Studio UI, and you can simply copy the zip file here. So you will automatically get everything here. For example, this is my prompt flow that I built for Langchain. In the file section, you will see the download zip file. So all we need is get that zip file and extract into a folder, uh, and then it will automatically come shows up uh, in this uh, in this format. So that's one way of uh, integrating the VS Code with the UI. So this demo will show you how to use the semantic kernel uh, capabilities into the prompt flow. So what this does is I give a given number, which is an upper number, and the semantic kernel plugin, what it does is it generates a random number between three and the whatever number I give it. So the intelligence is in this uh, piece of code here, where it says random number generator. And uh, if I click on this this uh, this Python lab, uh, code, and it'll, uh, it has all the uh, semantic kernel intelligence uh, inside this. So what this does is it there is a plugin, uh, the class that's called plugin, and it uses the semantic kernel uh, capabilities to create this plugin to generate a random number between three and the number that I pass. And this is the entry point for this, this code. Within the prompt flow, this is where it enters into the semantic kernel and it takes that input it, it uh, uh, uses uh, uh, the, the deployment that you specify, uh, chat GPT deployments, and this is where it calls that function to generate the random number. And if I go back to my uh, prompt flow model, and uh, uh, you know I can run this, and you will see the output that came when I ran this was 20. So that means I gave a maximum as 50, and it generated a random number between three and uh, this number. Again, a basic example here, but you could imagine using uh, your semantic kernel plugins seamlessly inside the prompt flow. In the next video, we will show you how to evaluate the prompt flow using the prompt variants and using the uh, uh, LLM metrics such as groundedness, coherence, fluency, and so on.